Kim's imagining things. Gigi and I couldn't be better. Then why did you two run out of the theater? Nobody ran. Gigi and I walked out of the movie because Gigi was bored, OK? She does not have a problem with Kim and Skylar going out together. Oh, uh, really? Because, see, Kim had the idea that Gigi wanted to tear her head off. Well, I'm sure Kim gets that a lot. To be fair, I wouldn't be surprised if Gigi was a little steamed. The last thing we wanted to do was to run into your partner in crime. Kim does have a tendency of making things about her. Trust me, Gigi is not jealous of Kim Who or... Who said she was jealous? I'm jealous of Kim. Why would I be jealous of her? Because she went out with you? Okay, ouch. Sorry, you know what I mean. No, I know, it's... it's... It's ridiculous. Uh, when Kim had some crazy ideas, I set her straight. Thanks. So. I hope her crazy ideas uh, didn't ruin your date. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know if another date is in the cards. That's that's too bad. <laughs> could, could you at least, like, you know, pretend you mean that? I am pretending to mean that. Anyway, I, don't, I don't really want to get into it right now. No problem. But, um, you know, you can talk to me about it if you want, even if it is about her. There isn't anything you can't tell me. From where I'm sitting, she's looking at you the way you've been looking at her. What? I promise you if we find evidence contradicting Taya's accounts, we'll reopen the investigation. How's that? Not bad. For now. And if Blair happens to remember what happened... Well, that's right at the top of my last brain. How about you work on getting out of here first? Whatever you say, Doctor. Mom. I'm tired of seeing you in here. Check in on you soon. Stop it. Stop. Whatever you say, doctor. Oh. And you know, he cares about you. Well, you know what? So what? He chose Marty. Yeah. Well, why he chose that psychodrama queen, I'll never know. You know, if she had not come back here, well, who knows where John would be? Or with whom? You're asking me to interfere in a police investigation. I know, okay, but I, I wouldn't ask you to do this if I didn't think that it was... Okay. You know what? I, I don't know about you, but I've never been able to get John to back off from anything, especially when it comes to his work. Yeah, me neither. And he does not talk to me about his cases. Can you at least try? If I did, how do you think he would respond? He'd know that I put you up to it, and then he would just come down harder on Jared. This was a huge mistake. I don't know why I'm here. I just... Oh God. I just felt like I had to do something, you know? I understand. There's nothing I can do to help my husband, is there? Well, I don't think this end run around John is the answer, but maybe we can come up with something else. You're gonna sue me? Yeah, you, the entire LPD, and maybe even the city, unless you release my client right now. <laughs> what did I do this time? Well, let's start with what you didn't do. To begin with, you didn't take my client to the hospital after he received a savage beating. He that seemed fine. Wait, are you qualified to make that call? So I'm gonna bet that the answer is no. So you denied my client vital medical attention, without which any number of oh, things fine. Have... You know what? I'll arrange for a doctor to have a look at your clients. Well, thank you very much. In his cell. What? No, wait, you can't do that. Are you my boss? Because something tells me that the answer is no. And only my boss can tell me what I can and cannot do. You know what? Not you. No, no, not my, my, my parents. Not the gay and lesbian caucus. Not my ex. My ex's new boyfriend or Dorian Lord's gay fiance. Well, I was just asking you to look at the facts. No, no. You're trying to push me around. And you know what? I get it. That's what lawyers do. Taya Delgado tried to do the same thing to me this morning after she shoved Blair Kramer out a window. And now whoa, you... whoa, 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 whoa. Say that again? Things went from bad to worse until what? I said something, something I should not have said, and Blair... You had Todd Manning's child, and you kept it from him? Wow, Dan. 
that's a mistake of your life, because he has to know. Blair threatened me. So then you pushed her out the window? That is not what happened. Really? Yes. Because you're making it sound like Blair's fault. And that's really not true, is it? What are you trying to say, Todd? I just think you did it on purpose. I think you want Blair out of the way. Hey, Gigi, why'd you run out last night? You didn't like the movie? Not my cup of tea. Oh, you don't like romance? That's too bad. We loved it. Excuse me, miss. Miss? You got a customer? Okay, um, what are you doing? Be cool. I'm trying to help you out. See, look. I think you're misreading the situation a little bit. Really? Don't look at me. Look at her. What did I tell you? Gigi's totally into you. You need to go for it. What the hell kind of bad advice are you giving him? Why would Gigi be jealous of Skylar and Kim? She wouldn't. Because if anybody should be jealous of Kim, it's me. I mean, Skylar's my ex, not Gigi's. Hey, why don't you crazy kids get back together? Uh, I'm pregnant. <laughs> Besides, I think they, uh, they make a cute couple. As long as Gigi doesn't stand in their way. She won't. Well, that's a relief. If you have any doubts about that, you need a friend to talk to. I'm here. Let, let me get something straight. Um, you and me, not friends. The only connection there is between us is this baby. Okay. Nothing else. Not now, not ever. Got it? Excuse me for caring. Please, Stacy, don't care. Don't forget, we have a doctor's appointment coming up. You know, you're, you're far enough along. I think the doctor could do a paternity test. Uh, but I, I thought we agreed that we would wait till after the baby's born for that. No. You insisted I just went along with you. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to do anything that's going to hurt my baby. You think I don't want this test? I'm looking forward to it. Look, I'm sure it's going to prove you're the father of my child. Just like you're sure that Gigi only has eyes for you. What, well, Blair went out a window? Is she alive? Yeah, she could have been killed, but they took her to the hospital, and now they're going to... Hey! Do you really think that I'm capable? of pushing Blair out a window on purpose? I don't know, you tell me. Wow. This is the last time I'm gonna tell you. It was an accident. And that's what I wanna believe. You know, if this had happened just two days ago, I, I probably would have been convinced that, that Blair jumped out the window just to stick it to you. I believed in you that much. But now... I just, I don't even recognize you, Taya. I'm still me, Todd. And who is that, exactly? Because the Taya Delgado that I knew and loved... didn't lie to me. She just, she, she was brutally honest. She wouldn't keep secrets from me. Like you've never kept a secret, Todd. No, I know I'm a jerk. I know that I'm a liar. Uh-huh. And a bastard. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. But you know what I never lied about? How much I was in love with you. So in love with you. This woman, this wonderful woman that came back into my life was my greatest champion, my best friend. And now I just don't, I... Well, that woman's gone. No, I think, I think that's where you're wrong. That woman's still here. You're talking about the woman you keep abandoning to go back to Blair? Yeah, that, that, that woman's still here. Look at you. Look at you. You're doing it again. 